Hey guys, this is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. So today we are going to learn about the how to handle the SSL certificate in uh, using our Selenium Web Driver because this is also one of the most important thing. Now you might have come across the case when manually opening the particular website is absolutely working fine, but the same actions whenever you are going to perform with the help of the Selenium Web Driver, then it throws an errors to you like this connection is untrusted. Like this kind of or, or your connection is not a private. This kind of message you will get over there. So what does it mean by the SSL basically? So SSL stands for the secure socket layer, which is basically standard security protocol that establish a secure connection between the server and the client. This is how basically happened. Uh, this is this is mean by the SSL. So the information sent using the SSL certificate is completely encrypted and ensure that it delivered to the right server. And that is why we must need to use we must we must need to use the SSL certificate for each and every website. Now, what is meant by the what is meant by the untrusted SSL certificate? So it is nothing but guys, like whenever you try to access a website, the SSL certificate helps determine if the website is what it claimed to be. Okay. And if there is an any issue with the certificate, that time you will get an error and your browser will say window your browser window will say like this this connection is untrusted or your connection is not private now here you can see guys now, now this is a uh, basic website i have this is a basic website we have and here you can see if i'm opening this website over here you can see uh okay just a minute uh if i'm opening this website over here you can see guys what will happen you will get a proper message your connection is not private now if you are accepting this thing like if you are clicking on these advanced options and you are proceed further it means you are accepting the you are accepting this ssl certificate so here you can see guys if i'm clicking on this proceed to uh, proceed of op these options now here you can see i can able to open these websites now next times if i'm trying to open this website you can see guys i'm just closing this thing uh, i'm just closing this window as of now and again i'm going to open this window you can see guys now you can able to open successfully because your browser will automatically import the certificate of, of this of this website. So this is this is what exactly happened. Now what exactly happened whenever we are running our test case on through the automation. Now here you can see guys if I'm if I'm clicking over here here you can see guys if I'm running my scripts with the help of the automation same URL basically I'm going to provide over here and if I'm running these scripts with the help of the automation you can see you will still get an same issue over here. Every time, like uh, uh, through the manually, if you are opening the SSL certificate URL manually on, on the particular browser, then browser will automatically import the certificate, SSL certificate. But through the automation, it is not possible. Why it is not possible? Because of, <clears throat> because of guys, a Selenium web driver always open each and every uh, session like each and every session is a unique. There is a no correlation between your previous session and your new session. So that is why we must need to handle these things with the help of the uh, Selenium automation. Like how basically we can handle these things, guys. Okay. So whenever we want to handle these things, let me write down this one uh, one code, one line of code here. Let me close this by particular browser. Now, if you want to handle our SSL certificate issue with the help of the Selenium web driver, what exactly you have to do, guys? only you have to use the particular driver option class now whenever we want to driver option class it means guys now if you are using the chrome driver then we have to use the chrome uh, option class if you are using the fire uh, firefox driver then we have to use the fire of op fire options class now definitely you might have a question what is the difference between fire option uh, uh, chrome options class what does it mean exactly so this class is basically used for whenever we want to set the desired capability i mean to say capability of the browser that time basically we have to set this that time basically we have to use this browser uh, that time basically we have to use this browser option class now here you can see guys i'm i just want to use this chrome options class and i'm just using chrome options is equal to new chrome option this class object basically i'm going to create over here and here you can see guys this object i'm using and dot i have to use a set acceptance in secure in secure certificate method basically we have to use and simple i need to pass the parameter over there which is named as a true parameter and i just need to provide the semicolon 
with the help of this method guys basically we are handling the ssl certificate it means we are accepting the ssl certificate so with the help of the selenium web driver it is not possible i mean to say it is not possible uh, to locate that particular web element and you are clicking and accepting this is not this is not a correct way for accepting the ssl certificate we must need to set the capability of on the browser of that particular website so here you can see guys i'm just setting the accept insecure certificate method basically i'm using and i'm setting the true parameter and whatever object basically we created of this chrome uh, option class we need to pass this object here in this chrome driver class so this is what exactly we have to do and here you can see guys if i'm going to run my script one more time you can see guys my ssl certificate is properly handled over here through the uh, through the chrome options class here you can see guys and if i'm not and if i'm not giving over here like if i'm giving the false it means uh, don't handle the ssl certificate then what will happen guys here you can see if i'm i'm just setting set accept in sequence certificate is a false then basically uh, your ssl certificate will not not handle and again you will get a same error which is name as a your connection is completely not a private so this is how basically message you will get that is why whenever we we want to handle the proper ssl certificate we must need to define the respective uh, browser option class now browser option class and then uh, we have to what exactly we, we have to do guys we have to use this method which is named as a set accept in secret certificate and you have to pass the value as a true this object basically here you can see guys this is properly handled and this object basically you have to pass here over here and with the help of this uh, method with the help of this approach basically you can properly handle the ssl certificate in a selenium automation and this is what exactly i want to tell you guys i hope you really like this video thanks Thank you.